Welcome everybody to Carol's Art Room. In today's video, I'm going to do a um, bloom, which I love doing blooms. And it's going to be um, purples. I just had a urge to do some purples and pinks. A couple of pigments in there too. And uh, yeah, so stick around and uh, watch how I do it. Welcome everybody to my art room. I'm going to do a purple bloom today. Um, I just saw some pretty colors on Instagram, some purples and pinks, and I just wanted to do one to see what it would be like. And I'm just going to use some dark purple, light purple, some pink with a white background, because it's just a, a tile that I use for um, testing my blooms. So I've got, um, this is, I can remember now, uh, what is this one? I can't remember now. Lavender Frost, that's what it is, by DecoArt. I have to mark that one, I didn't mark it. Lavender Frost by DecoArt. That's my consistency. I thickened up my paints a little bit from the last time I did it. Not much, just a little. This is metallic. And then I have a Grumbacher Dioxys in purple. Well, actually, I'm going to use my pink tourmaline, which is a deco art. See, it just makes a small mound. This is a uh, extreme sheen. They both are. They're all mixed with my bloom boring medium that's in my description under the video. Okay, now I have dioxys in purple. I break these air bubbles here. Of a messy fashion it doesn't have to be perfect it all blends together I'll use my mini blower all right I have a sequence, which is of this little piggy, and I have a pink, um, pink pearl, it's a pearlex pigment, 
So I'm going to put, try and do maybe one side this color and one side the other color and see what happens. Just to see the difference. a little more of this down. Use black cell activator. I get my mini bro ready. Make sure I put lots down. Sometimes I don't think I put enough. Now that's a lot of cell activator, but we'll see how it comes together. I think using metallics really helps getting cells. It's very pretty. It's too much black in the middle, I think. It'll come back and it'll... One pink has a bit of gold tinge to it. That's why it's pink pearl. Oh, that's called gold pink. That's why I didn't. I had the word gold on there, and I I didn't read it. You can see inside the gold and pink together. Oh, that's really nice. Let's let this come back to the middle. Okay, so see I did one side with the piggy sequence, and this side is mostly the pink gold. I didn't get much there, but it all depends on, on how it's blown too. That makes a big difference. I like that. Be nice when it's dry. Now I wish I had to put it all over. <laughs> That's okay. Try 
can center this a bit more. I think it's back in the middle now. The cells are very pretty. Now that's cells. That's more cells when you see two colors in one. It's more like a pearl cell or um, and the late more lacing on the outside, but still cells though. So I think that's because my paints are a little, little, little bit thicker than they were the last time I did a bloom. So just that little difference. It's very pretty. No, oh, I can't wait. I'll spin it now. some weight. I'll stretch it a bit more. Just make sure I got it centered. I don't want to spin it anymore because I'm losing look at all that cells I hate it when that happens I did it too hard I'm gonna have to leave these white corners It's a beauty. Very nice. I'm going to hold it up for you. And I think this video is done. Thanks for coming by. And I did use two uh, pigments. And it's good to put pigments, if it's a light pigment like this interference one, over a dark color. Seems to work really good. Anyway, all right, there you go. Come back to Carol's Art Room. With, please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell for notifications and you'll get notified when I do a new video. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, everybody. Here's my dried tile. Look how gorgeous this is. And that is a pigment up there. It's a pink gold color by Pearl X. And on this side is a sequence, this little 
piggy. It's a purpley color. You can see the shine there. It's really pretty. I really like this one. It's one of my favorites. Awesome. Have a good day, everybody, and come back to Carol's art room. Look at those two colors in the cells. I love that. Can't stop staring at it. Bye bye.